Welcome to the Nokia SR Linux Learning Essentials video series brought to you by the Nokia Data Center Fabric Certification Program. This video explains Layer 2 Ethernet VPN service. So, what is a Layer 2 eVPN? One requirement for data center network is to connect several virtual machines or metal servers in a private network. A Layer 2 service is used when the VMs or hosts are in the same subnet. A Layer 2 Ethernet VPN service is configured on the LEAF routers to create a virtual network. As the control plane, multi-protocol BGP sessions with the eVPN address family are configured between all LEAF routers. Data plane tunnels are needed between the LEAF routers. The XLAN is the de facto tunnel type in data centers. In this video, we will show how to configure a Layer 2 eVPN service on the LEAF routers to allow connectivity between hosts belonging to the same subnet. Now let's see a use case for Layer 2 eVPN. We have a LEAF Spine data center with host 10 attached to LEAF 1 and host 20 attached to LEAF 2. Host 10 and host 20 are pre-configured with IP addresses from the same subnet. We need to create an eVPN service between LEAF 1 and LEAF 2 to connect the hosts. The eVPN service is implemented as a MAC VRF in each LEAF router. The MAC VRF has a local interface to connect the host and a VXLAN tunnel to forward traffic to the remote LEAF router. The service is controlled using the MPBGP protocol with eVPN address family. The System 0.0 subinterface is used in SR Linux as the MPBGP and VXLAN tunnel endpoint. Okay. We will now configure an eVPN service to connect two hosts. The underlay network is pre-configured. This includes the System 0 interface and the MPBGP. The eVPN service on LEAF 2 is also pre-configured. We only need to configure LEAF 1. Verify the BGP neighbor LEAF 2. The address family is eVPN. There is no route exchanged before the service configuration. Configure the local interface to host 10. Enable VLAN tag. Create a subinterface and set the mode to bridged. The VLAN ID 100 matches the host 10 configuration. Create an eVPN service. Type MAC VRF means it is a layer 2 network. Add the local interface. Create a tunnel interface and name it VXLAN1. Set the VXLAN interface ID and the VNI to 100. Add the VXLAN interface to the eVPN service. Configure the route target in the BGP VPN context. The value should match the RT on LEAF2. In the BGP eVPN context, configure the VXLAN tunnel and EVI. The EVI 100 will automatically generate the route distinguisher. Go to host 10. Check the local IP address. Ping host 20. It is reachable. Check the service on LEAF1. The MAC addresses of host 10 and host 20 are learned. Host 20 is reachable through a tunnel to LEAF2 and the MAC address is learned from BGP protocol, eVPN address family. The eVPN service works as expected. That's it for SR Linux Layer 2 eVPN. Thanks for watching and be sure to explore the rest of this video series to learn more. And when you're ready to practice what you've learned, my DCF Learning Labs provides comprehensive exercises with step-by-step -step instructions and solutions, all in one simple browser-based application.